Hello, it is May 27th, 2020. I can't believe there's only three more days left in this month. It seemed like it went by much too quickly. I sure do miss our time in class and can't wait to get back there soon. How is everybody feeling today? Maybe happy, maybe tired, mad, sad, hungry, hurt. Sometimes you can be hurt inside because your feelings are hurt. So hurt isn't always, ouch, I have a boo-boo. Sometimes your heart might hurt a little bit. Like my heart hurts a little bit because I miss our classroom. Anyway, let's see what we remember about these things we've been talking about. We were talking about bugs. We thought about ladybugs, caterpillars, flies, worms. We had spiders who make a web. We talked about ants and spiders that lay eggs. Which one of these words do you think says spider? Yep, the S one. This is beetle. Then we had insects that have six legs. Insects also have three body parts. All insects are bugs, but not all bugs are insects. A butterfly and a bumblebee are insects and bugs, but a worm is not. A worm is just a bug. And then we read about grasshoppers with their five eyes. Wow. Well, today we are going to find out a little bit more about ladybugs. First thing to know is the title, Ladybugs. One word in that title, and it is written by Melvin and Gilda Berger. And they have written so many of the books we read. They wrote ants, they wrote spiders, they wrote grasshoppers. Today we'll find out, do ladybugs lay eggs? That's what we're going to find out, and we're going to listen to see if ladybugs are insects. This is a true story. There's not going to be any grouchy ladybugs in this book, but I know we have that story in our class. So just taking a peek, we're going to see that these are actual photographs that somebody took. Let's read and find out. Ladybugs by Melvin and Gilda Berger. There's an up-close view. Ladybug, ladybug, how do you do? The girl is smiling, so obviously she's feeling happy that there's a ladybug on her. I guess that means they don't bite or sting. Ladybug, ladybug, show me your wings. Oh, look at that. They must fly. Ladybug, ladybug, show me your legs. Ladybugs are small flying insects with six legs. So are they an insect? Yup, because they have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And we learn that they fly. Ladybug, ladybug, show me your spots. Wow, I know the red and black. Who knew there was a white and black and a yellowish orange and black kind as well. Ladybug, ladybug, show me your colors. Ladybugs have from two to 16 spots and come in many colors. But this guy has one, two, three, four, five, six spots. This guy seems to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine, ten spots. How about that? Spots are kind of like freckles. Some of us have freckles on our skin. Ladybug, ladybug, what do you eat? What is it that eating? Wow, it doesn't look like uh, anything you or I would eat. Ladybug, ladybug, who wants to eat you? I guess the frog wants to capture that ladybug for snack. Ladybug, ladybug, lay eggs on a leaf. Fun fact. Ladybugs lay a few eggs at a time. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's a lot of eggs to lay, and today is the 27th day of May. How about that? Ladybug, ladybug, your eggs will soon hatch. Wow, look at it. It doesn't have any spots. It's so strange. Ladybug, ladybug, keep warm in the winter. Ladybugs huddle to keep warm in cold weather. Oh, how about that? They're not going to go and get a blanket so, or a winter coat, so they stay together to keep warm that way. Ladybug, ladybug, wake up in the spring. Ladybug, ladybug, where do you live? Ladybugs live almost everywhere. So they must live in Holbrook. They must live in New York City. They must live in China. Maybe they live in South Africa. Maybe they live in the North Pole with Santa. I don't know. Ladybug, ladybug, come visit me. Looks like the person has a little ladybug house ready. I see they have some grass in there and things that might keep the ladybug comfortable. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. All right, so what did we find out? Ladybugs have six legs. That means they're an insect. What do they lay? They lay eggs. Just like the ants and the bumblebees and chickens. That's interesting. And spiders also lay eggs. And how do they move? They fly. They have wings. So let's write that word down. Wings. Wah, wah. I'm writing a W. Wah, eh, wings. Many insects have wings. Wings, that's a word for today. Can you say that? Wings. Wings move from side to side. All right, let's just think about some math stuff. We had done some of this the other day. Let's see if we can do this again today. We were talking about the number of legs that different bugs and insects have and putting those numbers together to make a bigger number. So I am thinking of a worm and I am thinking of a ladybug. So how many legs would that be? This is kind of a trick question. We know the ladybug has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. But how many legs does a worm have? It has zero. So the answer is if you had one worm and one ladybug, you would just have six legs because the worm has zero legs. Pretty interesting. All right, let's think about one spider. Do you remember how many legs those little guys have? And one ladybug how many legs do those guys have so we have to count up I know that a spider has the same as an octopus eight and I just remember a ladybug's an insect it has six so we gotta count six and eight how to do it I made a picture I'm I do better when I make a picture and I count like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. So if I had one spider and one ladybug together, that would equal 14 legs. Do you know which one of these numbers is 14? Yep, the one with the four in it. This one is 13, that comes before 14. Okay, let's do a couple more. I am thinking of two people and they just captured 
one ladybug and that girl thought that a ladybug was a really cool thing in the picture so how many legs are that okay we know a ladybug is an insect this le this many legs and we know how many legs people have each person has two so if I have my legs that's one two plus your legs that's one, two, three, four, plus the ladybug, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is ten legs. That's a lot of legs. Let's see if you remember what ten looks like. No, that's not ten. Yes, that's ten. Okay, two more. I am thinking of... The number of legs a person has, two. So let's say Santa Claus. Say Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho. He has two legs. And Santa Claus has two spiders. Maybe they can help him deliver packages to your houses for Christmas. Okay, so Santa Claus we know has two legs. And do you remember how many spiders, how many legs a spider has? Let's see if I can find it in my pile. Let's see, let's see. Not five, no, not 15. It has eight. So a spider has, each spider has eight legs. So we've got one Santa Claus, two legs, and two with eight legs. That's going to be a lot of counting, but we can do it. I drew my picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That is eighteen legs. That's a lot of legs. Let's see if you remember what eighteen looks like. Ah, uh, no, no, yeah, that's 18. Okay, the last one, and this one's going to be really tricky. Put your thinking caps on. Okay, here we go. We have uh, one worm and one person. And one ladybug. How many legs is that? Okay, we know a person is two. We know a worm is zero. And we know a ladybug is the number that comes after five, but before seven, that's six. So how many legs all together? I don't even have to count that. Go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you know that? I bet you did. Okay, now, can you find out how many legs there would be if you had one person, one worm, one ladybug, and one spider? Okay, so one person, one worm, one ladybug, and one itsy bitsy spider. Okay, I want you to see if you can figure that one out all by yourself. I'm going to go figure it out too. Bye.